He's not even using it. What do you do with a phony sword? A million things. You fall on it, you stab yourself, you stab the other mascot. That's not funny. It is if you do it right. Oh, the Norsemen should be doing shtick. Zany dance moves like this. Why is that funny? Because I'm a Norseman in a chorus line. Or, oh, wait, this one. Bullet dancer Norseman. Yes, a Norseman in Hawaii. That's funny. I can't be seen with him. Your dad let me in. Look, Nick, I don't have much time because I told my parents I was going to meet them before the game. Uh, um, I want to talk to you, okay? Can you sit down for a second, please? Please. I just, I don't, I want to tell you what happened with me and Heidi Henderson. You don't have to do that. I know. I know I don't have to, but I want to. Okay? All right. I had this really uh, huge crush on her. And uh, when she broke up with her boyfriend, we went out for like a week. I wrote her poems. Lots and lots of poems. <laughs> it turns out that she was just on the rebound and she was trying to make her boyfriend jealous and she wasn't even really interested in me at all. So when she got back together with her boyfriend, she started showing him all of my poems, right? And then the next thing I know, she's just showing everybody my poems. And it was really humiliating, you know? Yeah, that's awful. So I go over to her house when she's not home because I want to get those poems back, right? And her dad catches me and he starts yelling at me and then the cops came. It was, the whole thing just got blown totally out of proportion. But the thing is, it just, it all made me end up feeling really, really, really insecure about girls. Nick, I would never show your poems to anyone. <sighs> you rule. So hard. Let's go to the game. Shelly, you have a huge stain on your sweater. I told you guys not to wear these when you eat. Come hey, on, Cindy? Come on, 